Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 3rd of 2020. Well, it is titled the dance of Venus and Earth. So what do we see here? Well, this is a video clip that will run uh, about a minute and a half or so when we actually start running it here. And it shows Venus and the Earth in their orbits around the sun. Now as you look at it, you'll see the sun there at the center, and then the planet Venus in yellow and the big bar coming off of Venus is just representing one fixed point on its surface, and showing where that would be pointing in space over time. The blue is the Earth. And once we play the video here, you will note that at certain times, every time Venus and Earth come close together, that that same point is right above, right pointing right towards the Earth. And you can watch and it will do that each time that Venus and the Earth pass close together every 584 days. And each time you'll see it actually slows down the simulation so you can see exactly that that same part of the uh, surface of Venus is pointing towards Earth. So we see the same side of Venus every time it reaches its closest approach. Now one of the other difficulties of course is that we can't see Venus when it's at its closest approach because it is directly between us and the sun and therefore we're not seeing the illuminated portion of the planet at that time. Now here we can but as you can see that it occurs again every 584 days that it takes Venus to come around. So they are actually Venus and Earth are actually gravitationally bound together. We see this in other systems as well. We note that for example, the moon and the Earth are locked together and that the moon always keeps one side facing towards the Earth. So it does not matter what phase of the moon it is, we are always seeing the near side of the moon and never seeing the far side. In fact, it wasn't until the late 1950s that we ever saw what the far side of the moon looked like as soon as uh, the, after the first spacecraft flew around behind it and was able to send back images. So it's not the exact same Venus is not locked to the Earth so that it always keeps one side facing the Earth. But there is a resonance involved here in that it does have it is tied into the Earth. And we also see this in other things with Jupiter and the asteroids. There are various different patterns as well that we see elsewhere in the solar system. Most large moons are tied in and locked to their planets and always keeping one side facing towards them. Uh, Mercury and the sun are locked together. Mercury doesn't keep one side facing towards the sun, but it does go around the sun. And there is a relationship between its day and its year in that three days on Mercury equals two years. So there is still a tying together of this through the gravity of the objects. So we do see this over many different places. And in fact, we get to see it here as Venus comes every time it comes close to the Earth. It's always the same portion of Venus that is pointing towards us. And that is actually what is happening today on June 3rd of 2020. If you let the simulation run again, you will notice that June 3rd of 2020 is another one of those days where Venus is at its closest to the Earth. And that starting tomorrow, it'll be visible now in the morning sky. Very hard to see for the next week as it's very low in the sky. But over the coming month, by the end of this month, be very easily visible in the morning sky right before sunrise. So that was our picture of the day for June the 3rd of 2020. It was titled The Dance of Venus and Earth. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.